We're back with Justine Riggs and Vicki Berger Irwin, authors of Finally, a Guidebook to St. Charles by and for locals, neighborhood by neighborhood. And the, uh, and the title goes on, but um, <laughs> and this, uh, this Guidebook to St. Charles has long been uh, needed, apparently, because there hasn't been one in recent years, you were saying. And the two of you got together about a year ago and started writing this book that now is going to be out in just a couple weeks. And we were talking in the last segment about things that surprised you in doing the research. And Justine... What, what did you find that you didn't expect? Well, there were, there were actually several things that surprised me. But, you know, I've lived in St. Charles for almost 20 years, and I never knew that just in the city of St. Charles alone there's 22 parks. So you can imagine the county is full of parks, and um, one of my favorites was um, discovering Old Town in Forestell. And I think you guys actually have a picture of it, but, um, you know, they have an actual outdoor classroom that, you know, students visit on a regular basis. They have a playground, um, they have rain gardens, a fishing pond, trails, but they also have um, a homestead from the 1800s, and it used to be called the Pink Plantation. Um, it's been completely restored, and um, you can actually tour it. It's won the McReynolds Award and um, has been recognized by the state capitol in Jefferson City for um, the historic preservation that's been done to it. So that was one of my wow. favorite discoveries, and also that wine country has a lot more to do than just drink wine. Okay, so tell us about <laughs> There's that. There's some really unique um, places to stay, you know, of course, bed and breakfast. Um, there's cute little shops and boutiques. Um, the scenery is amazing. I mean, each each view is more beautiful than the next, truly. Um, just the drive out is a true pleasure. Um, there's a, a glass blowing studio. Um, Sam Stang hand makes glass that you can find all over the country. Um, has beautiful pieces. So there's just a, a real wide variety of activities. Lots of things to do mm -hmm. right here in our backyard, which Absolutely. is really, really exciting. And you all must be very excited to be the ones kind of bringing this to the forefront. Um, Vicki, how is the book divided? How is it? Um, it's divided by municipalities, in essence, in areas. Mm -hmm. uh, it opens with Main Street, historic Main Street, and it goes to French Town. It goes to Wine Country, Augusta, Defiance, Cottleville, O'Fallon, St. Peter's. Mm -hmm. So in each section, each municipality has its own history. So you it does. It has a little short description of the municipality. You know, high points of that, and um, we go through places of interest, places to shop, places to eat places to stay, mm -hmm. and anything else interesting that we can <laughs> dig up about it. Yeah, that's, that's really exciting. And then, uh, and then do you mention when it's your favorite place? A little <laughs> we, I, I know I did, and when I read Justine's, she did too. <laughs> like, for example, things like same room for the coconut pie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So some, some, some personal commentary Absolutely. from you. And that shows mm -hmm. that you actually went and visited these places and had a personal connection mm -hmm. to them as well. So, all right, so what's next? Um, the book's coming out um, for us to actually get our hands on in just a couple of weeks, March 1st. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll be available in the local bookstores. Um, and various shops probably in the areas that are mentioned and from either one of us. Yeah. They can sell them or Amazon.com will have them. Um, yeah, good. So it'll be easy to find. Mm -hmm. And if there was one or two top things that you um, you want others to, to know about St. Charles area from having written the book, what would that be, Justine? Um, I would say that there is something for everyone. So, you know, just because you hear about St. Charles and you assume that it's all about Main Street, mm -hmm. um, that's not the case. There, There's a wide variety from history to art, shopping, um, kids activities. There's a lot of things for kids to do and a lot of those things are actually very um, reasonably priced or even free. Um, but there's there's never a shortage of things to do, rain or shine, and it's perfect for all ages. Mm -hmm. And Vicki, anything that's seen that? Well, even though it's not all about Main Street, Main <laughs> Street is my favorite part of St. Charles. Even though I got to experience a lot of other places in St. Charles that I hadn't before, I still would always come back to Main Street. And the history of Main Street is absolutely fascinating, and there's a lot of fun shopping. But just take time to look around and read the plaques, uh, look at the pictures that are hanging on the wall, and even take a minute to go into the Visitors and Convention Bureau and, and check out their little iPod set mm -hmm. that you can take with you and listen to the different history, and you will come away with a completely different view of Main Street than just as a shopping 
eating, drinking fight. Yeah, and you get a sense of that just walking down um, that street, just the history, the cobblestones, the, the buildings. I mean, there's clearly a lot of stories behind those facades. So that's inter it's great that you've got that in your book. And are there plans to keep the book updated, to keep it timely, or just getting it out the door right now is the main objective? Um, right now, just getting it out, but there has been talk about even a revised version down the road. So. Yeah. Yeah, very good. And the, the prior book that this one is based on that's about St. Louis ha does have a revision. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you based it on a book in Saint, about the St. Louis City and County. Right, okay. that Reedy Press also published. Okay, very good. Well, thank you both, Vicki and Justine, for joining us today. We're so excited to help you launch this exciting um, story about St. Charles and all thank there is you. to know. So if you'd like to get your hands on a copy of Finally, a Guidebook to St. Charles by and for Locals, neighborhood by neighborhood city and county it's available at your local bookstore or visit reedy press that's r-e-e-d-y press.com stay tuned we'll have more after this break